Georgia Payawamalo. I'm Bianca Swift. And I'm Nina Abdullahi, and we're all seniors from Burke High School. Who let the dogs out? And this is seven days. Every morning I step through my scarves carefully, looking for one that doesn't scream terrorist. I try flowers, animal prints, solids, the whole color spectrum. But no matter how plain or pretty it is, the ugly side always shows. Day, Day one. I take the fabric and lay it out on a hard surface. Ugly, ugly side, side up. Do you wash your hair? Do you, do you even have hair? I'd love not to have to do mine in the morning. Imagine the amount of time saved. No one wants to confront the ugly. Better to hide it. Behind, behind curtains of false smiles and facades, facades of helpful hints. Day two. Maybe I'll take it from one hand and fold it three fourths down. Fold it halfway down and you'll look dangerous. Angry, rabid, foaming at the mouth, ready to take out as many people as you can. And all the way down and you'll seem extreme, intimidating, looking for any reason to pull out a weapon. And careful, don't fold it a quarter way down, you might look oppressed. As if the fabric of your job has suppressed your inner voice, we see your scarf and ignore the rest, but I digress. Oh honey, were you forced to wear that at gunpoint? You put bomb under there? Day, Day three. three. Maybe I'll try grabbing it from the top and holding it behind my head. Not the front. Someone can mistake it for a burka. Like the mistake the DMV made when they said, Miss, take it off. Day, Day four. four. Well, what if I take both ends and wind them together with a safety pin? Will that make us safe again? If it's too loose, the ugly side might show. Hello, I'm not invisible. She should just put it to her scalp. Excuse me? Didn't she see the no hat sign? It's not fair that she doesn't have to follow the rules. I mean, it's just for everyone's safety, right? She needs to take it off. Day, Day five. five. I tucked the end of the fabric under the gun, hoping today's finally the day I get it right. Make sure to eliminate all folds of misunderstanding. If you want to be accepted. Then you just need to let it hang. Let the nuns have it. Or a Jewish woman shade doll. Maybe an Amish bonnet. And day six. At the airport. Quick, get down. At the DMV. She's got a ball. At school. Please don't hurt us. Enough. Which twist made me a terrorist? The same fold that made you voiceless. The same crease that made you dangerous. The same wrapping that made you oppressed. The truth is, none of these versions will be seen as right. There's no way to eliminate stereotypes. Xenophobia, fear. So why am I trying? Day seven, realize these steps don't work. Realize your identity doesn't depend on other people's opinion of you. Realize you don't have to hide yourself for the comfort of others. Realize that there's only one thing you can do. Day one. Wake up. Look at yourself in the mirror and put your scarf on. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter, matter if the other side shows. shows.